And good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tim Seaman. As the 2020 presidential race inches closer, many Democrats are making a point to stop right here in Siouxland. Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden is just the latest. KCA Unite's Bridget Bennett joins us live from a community event here in Sioux City, where the former vice president is expected to take the stage soon. Bridget? Yeah, Tim, it is quite a night here at Country Celebrations in Sioux City. Folks are still filing in the front door here. The vice president a few minutes behind, as is usual for the start of his speech here, but we are expected to hear from him in just a minute. And it is a quite a packed event right now. They're set up right behind Country Celebrations here in Sioux City. Lots of people there today, but the campaign managers tell me they're going to make room for as many people as come tonight. And that's why they've set up outside. They want to make sure everyone can find a spot to even stand to hear what the vice president has to say. And despite the heat, it's really not keeping folks away. Just take a look at this video of the line from earlier today. People were waiting uh, to get into the event as early as about 2 o'clock today. I spoke to several Siouxlanders who said they're already throwing their support behind Joe Biden. But others are here tonight just to see what he has to say. Several came from rural communities miles away from Sioux city just to see what Biden uh, would do to try and help those rural communities and the agricultural community here in Siouxland. Speak that I've been a farmer, I've been on the same farm for 88 years, the same farm, and I'm looking to raise the prices of corn and beans up so we can survive. The prices are going down and I think if we get Joe Biden in there, well, he's going to do something for us farmers. Now, we are told that is exactly what the former vice president is planning to talk about tonight. Joe Biden just today releasing his plan for rural America, outlining several key strategies he plans to employ to try and help rural communities and increase prices in agriculture. Now, his plan for rural America is already gaining support from several key Iowans. Uh, we heard our, a, a quote sent from the former governor, Tom Vilsack, earlier today. He says, quote, in addition to addressing the unique health care needs for rural America. Vice President Biden also outlined how he must what we must do for agriculture, especially in trade relations and for beginning farmers and for small farming operations that wish to market locally. And we are going to hear a lot more about the former vice president's plan for rural America and for farmers here in Siouxland. We'll bring you what he has to say throughout the evening here on KCAU 9 News at 10 o'clock and online at SiouxlandProud.com. We hope you'll stick with us. For now, Tim, I'm live in Sioux City. Bridget Bennett, KCAU 9 News. All right, Bridget, thanks. We look forward to hearing what uh, Biden has to say tonight at 10.